Hey guys, it's Alexy with TFP TV, and for today's video, we're going to be shooting a Finnish RK6276. In the United States, these are colloquially known as Valmet rifles. Um, we kind of got the full smorgasbord of Valmets here. We got the milled receiver guns, the stamp guns, the 7.62 guns, the 308 guns, and the 223 guns. This one being a semi automatic 223 Valmet M76. Um, Basically, it's based on the Finnish RK6276, which was a stamped gun, the 62 being a milled receiver. These are famous for being actually just fantastic AK variants. They're light, the sights are wonderful, the piston has some fingers on it that reduce slop, and I guess let's talk more shooting. Let's see how it performs. Because of the Valmet's excellent sights, the first thing you notice pretty much is how easy it is to make offhand shots at 100 meters. I mean, they're so much better than trunnion mounted sights on a traditional AK, it's ridiculous. Uh, the Galil also borrowed this sight setup, and it's very apparent that the Israelis borrowed features they wanted from this rifle to add to the Galil. And there was nothing wrong with that. Both are fantastic, and I would put both side by side, but if I was going to do some marching with one, I'd much prefer the Valmet because it is substantially lighter than the milled receiver Galils. Um, I don't have experience with the milled receiver Valmets, but I'm sure they'd be heavy as well, so that's something to think about. So back at 300 meters, I noticed it was pretty damn easy to make shots on a 12-inch plate. Um, I did have maybe one or two misses, which is to be expected uh, at my skill level. I'm not, a, I'm not a match rifle shooter or anything like that. But realistically, the sights on this gun are absolutely wonderful. I can't say more to praise these sights. Um, a lot of people ask how rigid are the sights. I know they're mounted on the dust cover, but... The Finns and the Israelis really made sure that that dust cover is on there. I mean, it's very firm. It doesn't have any play or slop to it, and it does return to zero when you put it back on there. I've actually never had to re-zero a Valmet or a Galil rifle before, so that uh, is pretty cool when you think about it. Anyways, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little overview of the Valmet M76. I certainly enjoy shooting this gun. I just wish they were a little more plentiful and magazines weren't so rare. So big thank you to Ventura Munitions for providing the ammunition for this video. We hope to see you all next time.